Hi everybody, you are watching Vitrolias, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this cutout effect in Gray Designer and uh, I will show you two ways how to cut scenes uh, uh, from each other and then how to place with the effect to create this uh, paper look effect in Gray. So let's start our document with Alt N or Option N to bring up a new document panel. I am designing on website huge 1920 by 1280 click uh, okay, and um, I have already done my artboard with the colors that share all of my values along the way. So let's grab the rectangle and cover uh, your artwork. And uh, I need to grab the color light blue and uh, this color will be 5DC9FF and reduce the opacity of your fill to, to 50%. And then we need to cut the shape, this wavy line, with the freehand sh shaping tool. The main peculiarity of this tool that you need to move the freehand very fast to achieve uh, the smooth line. If you go slow, you will get a very rough shape with dozens of points and your editing will be very tough then. So. Uh, be careful and go very quick, at least try to maintain the pace and to get the results. So one of the main obstacles for uh, using this tool is that you don't see really see what you are doing in Gravit. Uh, guys, I'm reducing the speckle-like scenes because the speckle-like scenes are not easy to simplify but otherwise I'm totally fine with this shape and I'm going to the modify path, simplify path and increase the tolerance to around 45 degrees to create a smooth shape. And you can see the number of points right now. If you wish, you can further reduce the number of points and further smooth your shape. So go to the pass, simplify pass again. This time I will tolerate 25%. Uh, I think it's not enough. Uh, you can go even further, pass, simplify pass. Let's go and try it 45 and I think you get the point. So if you are tolerating 75 it will go very very smooth. I don't like these points and you can also kind of edit them manually, it's not a big deal. And finally you get this point. This is how you can create the first shape and uh, uh, as I told you I prefer the second type because it requires less work. Let me show you the second second way how you can cut the scenes from your tool but first of all let me arrange the scenes properly take this blue color it's 4a a f d d and then reduce the opacity to 50 percent so i can see what uh, shape i'm tracing so with, i'm tracing with the path tool so click grab the path tool and start tracing So far so good, I'm satisfied with this result, let's delete unnecessary points, grab the selection tool, grab the rectangle and go to subtract boolean shape operator, so subtract one shape from another, you have compound shape, you need to convert it to the path, use these icons convert to path on the tools panel or use ctrl shift p command shift p on your keyboard, then create another rectangle cover the entire artwork, set it to the bottom with the control down arrow command, command down arrow on your mark and grab the last color in our composition, this dark blue, 2F4ABB and uh, again I'm gonna reduce the opacity to 50% and freeze the, uh, my artwork again. So. I want to beat speed up my tutorial. Uh, 
uh, okay so again select go to subtract repeat the shape wonderful and finally we need to grab the all of them and give them the 100% opacity okay it looks decent and we are ready to apply some effects what I'm gonna do I'm selecting the light blue or uh, first uh, convert the compound shape to compound path okay so we have uh, three compound paths, paths and we need to grab any of them I'm working with the top one and uh, apply the drop shadow effect on your effects panel so set here this positive 7 positive 7 on the Y uh, and it will be almost done set the opacity to 50% voila we have our cutout effect that we need to add additional drop shadow with the negative 1 on the Y negative 2 on the X so negative 2 on the X and reduce the opacity to 30% so 2 drop shadows uh, when you get this result you might nullify the uh, first drop shadow I don't know why the hell it is working in gravity so reapply these values provide this, them again and uh, ready to create the shared style call it shadow and uh, don't forget to uncheck this option fill border and style so we are looking only for the effect so our shared style will store only effects so click create and then apply this one to the rest of the compound pulses by selecting the shadow effects so as you can see it's working like a charm we need to also grab the rectangle tool and set it in the bottom so ctrl shift down arrow and then let me return to my position okay uh, this is how you can create the cutout effect in uh, gravity designer and uh, the last one is to draw the our inhabitant our turtle in gravity so this is how i'm going to do this the simplest possible way is to grab the pen tool and trace the entire outline nicely done now i'm gonna create this uh, fins or legs i don't even know how they call in uh, for the total then make a duplicate and flip it horizontally rotate it and apply it to the opposite side then i want to grab again and just rotate it a bit and apply it to the legs as well hold alt or option to make a duplicate when you drag in and finally grab the ellipse tool create an ellipse and cover the entire body leaving only the neck now let's pick the colors from our tutorial first delete the border let's go to the greenish one i think it's okay again select the border delete the border select the screen one then go and a little bit lighten it up go in diagonally delete the border and go to the green blue okay this green blue and finally we need to uh, add some um, pattern in order to do this i'm gonna draw the curve lines with the pen tool again now we need to delete the fill duplicate our 
circle and grab the circle put it on top of your pathes of your pattern and uh, run the mask with shape command Control shift m or command shift m go to the fill and delete the fill select the passes and increase the border weights you can select all the passes by holding shift key and change the border color first of all and increase the body weights to something like this three points is okay for me now we are ready to apply again the shadow let me delete this outline we are ready to apply the shadow in order to do this go to the drop shadow wonderful and uh, we need to set it to uh, i believe it was two two and five let's put it in the place grab the group and put it here okay let's go and a bit adjust our colors because it doesn't look well okay this one i like and i will also adjust the passes inside now i want to apply all of this adjustment at once for all of the shapes by using the color adjust okay so this is how you can create the cutout effect in gravity designer i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do give us some bob subscribe to my channel visit tutorials.net for more adobe illustrator and gravity design tutorials thank you for watching and enjoy your day